Hello everyone. This is a demo for iOS native application test with testing this. In this, I will cover the setup steps, script building part and the script execution part. Later on, we will evaluate the report for the execution. So, in the first uh, setup, we will require a uh, iOS simulator on the Mac machine. We can also connect a real device as well with the Mac and we, on which we can execute a test. So, here in this demo, I have started one simulator on the Mac machine. So, here you can see the iPhone 5 simulator is running and uh, the APM server is connected with it. In the second step, we will require testing with, uh, we need to provide few details like uh, in the configuration, mobile configuration for the iOS, we need to provide a URL of the APM server and the device name that is iPhone 5 and the platform version running on the iPhone 5. And once we have provided this detail, we can successfully test the connection. So I have just clicked on the test connection button and it will test the connection and give us the status. So here it is connected successfully and we are now moving on to the script building part. So for that uh, we can use some, uh, some action commands like here you can see for the mobile action commands we have list of commands which will include commands like swipe, pinch, tap on element or zoom on location and rotate and all this kind of command will help us to build a script. So uh, here you can see uh, a demo uh, application script. So basically the demo application have a functional flow where is we are validating a step is where we will validate a default value and clicking on some buttons and the resultant value are also getting validated in the script. So this is the script for that and in this script I have also uh, covered a data driven part. So I, I have just created uh, one table for the, uh, the validation part and the X path. So the X path are getting fetched from the table and this is the table uh, named steppers and I have mentioned that a table name in the target data table. So uh, in this way the script is um, built um, data driven and uh, for referencing those uh, table values uh, uh, we just need to click on the value column and, and it will list out all the column names and as per our need we can uh, configure that part. So once these details are provided uh, the action commands use like tab, scroll and all and if uh, at a point if you need some validation or if you want to give some intelligence like uh, if you want to some uh, add some conditional command and all we have set of commands available uh, you can utilize those commands so uh, these are the inbuilt commands you can directly utilize in the script and for validation here in the script itself I have used some commands like check text, check disable, enable those kind of things so uh, I am just executing the script which I have prepared for the demonstration and for execution you need to select uh, iOS as from the browser list. So once you click on the iOS it will start executing on the uh, connected simulator. Here you can see it has clicked on the steppers button and then uh, first of all it will verify, verify some text. Here you can see in the logs itself uh, what and all uh, getting verified and uh, it will validate a default value. So here um, the zero is the default value first so it has verified that 
and then it will click on the plus button and uh, then it will validate that the number is increased again clicked on the minus button and it will validate that it is uh, the number is changed to zero again and then it has clicked on the home button and return to the home screen and the uh, execution is over and the report is generated for the execution so here you can see uh, in the report all the details like uh, it uh, what and all uh, uh, details like uh, iOS as a browser and the native application test it was and how much time the total execution run so it will give all the details and when you go to uh, a step level execution report you will be able to see a uh, step level and the iteration wise report so here uh, you can see uh, it has uh, run first iteration and <clears throat> the values it has taken for validation so in this way you can evaluate uh, your result uh, report and uh, you can also send this report to uh, your uh, reporting manager and then you can <clears throat> you can also schedule these kind of uh, test cases and all so this is how uh, the mobile test uh, native application testing works with the testing this thanks for watching thank you very much happy testing